G'day guys, I'm back at Rainbow Rock because I just couldn't get enough of it. Beautiful colouring. That is a sick trout. But this is Rainbow Rock and this is why I do what I do. Okay guys, I'm back at Rainbow Rock. It's not very rocky at the moment because I'm down the very bottom. But I've challenged myself to keep this soft plastic on until I reach a spot where I caught about th three rainbow trout in one spot. So I'm going to have a go. I'm going to persevere with this thing. It's staying on unless I lose it until I get to that spot. Will this log provide me with the first trout I will have ever caught on soft plastics? Let's find out with this log drop. There we go. And there is my first trout on a soft plastic. <laughs> it's not a bad size either. That's beautiful. It's such good condition in here, I think. It's a big head on him. Another one just cruised past. And that is why Rainbow Rock just is excellent. One out. One thing I will enjoy, I think about. One thing I will enjoy, I think about. Uh, come on, mate. One thing I will enjoy about soft plastics is there's one hook only. There's a fat fish. He's chunker. Wait, come on. One hook, easy out. Come on now. Same guy. Beautiful fish. It's a lot of that size in here. A lot of this stuff I don't even think I'll have to cast in. I'll just be doing little little stuff like that. It'd be good to see one actually chase this thing. I certainly wanted to eat that though. There we go. <laughs> hey, <she's laughs> I don't think that's the same fish from yesterday, but goodness me. Look at the parring marks on her, she's beautiful. Rainbow rock. What a what a beautiful find this was. Come on now. Can't I? I can't let you go unless you come to me. Come on. Oh, come on now. Oh, Alright, yeah, another little beautiful rainbow trout. Yeah. Okay. Come on now, behave, or you won't get free in time. Come on now. There we go, right under the lip. I think she hit it and then got snagged. Whoop, there you go. She's gone now. Probably a good thing. It took a while to get her off because she was flailing around like a crazy thing. Now this is where 
I dad my lure in the river over these branches I got half snagged and the, tr <laughs> the trout had a go at it when I was just sort of touching the surface so I'm gonna have another go at this one because he was a reasonable looking trout now I was in a similar position last time let's see if I can get him There we go. I knew you were in there, you little bugger. That's three on the strike tiger nymph. Come on now. Another little rainbow. Beauty. Right in the corner of the jaw. Another female. Come on out. Bang. Alrighty. Pop. There you go. Wee hoo. <laughs> Just was well around my legs there. That's funny. I knew he was in there. Now this is cool. I've got to show you this. In the river, trout tend to eat insect larvae and all matter of insects, basically ones that fall into the water from on the surface. Also little nymphs, um, bugs and whatnot, water beetles, things like that. But also, dragonfly larva, okay? Now, dragonfly larva are known as mud eye, and they swim around, they mature, um, and they climb up trees and things like that, or onto a rock after they mature, and then they cast their mud eye shell and turn into a dragonfly. So what we've got here, there's obviously our mate, the, uh, the mud eye, has made his way out of this woodwork here, this creek. He's climbed all the way up to the top of this tree here. He's climbed all the way up to the top of the tree here. To here. Now he's cast his shell, and this is the remaining of his casting. And that just looks crazy cool. Crazy, crazy cool. He's a big one too. So that's the kind of thing that we like to emulate when we're trout fishing, like little mud eye, little nymphs, little insect type um, food sources that uh, that the trout will like. So, mmm, very interesting. Now I'm just gonna go zippity doo da. Oh, he came out at it. Oh, yes, got him. <laughs> oh, I think he came off. Yeah, he came off. Oh, that was cool. I hope you guys saw that. <laughs> oh, so good. He's dancing around. It came out. I don't think it's coming back though. He, uh, he hit, she hit that pretty hard, that little female rainbow. So, my soft plastic's copying a hammering. Now, this is where. <laughs> This is where the fishing got stupid. Uh, yes, yesterday I uh, lost a trout in a body of water, not not as not even as big as my bonnet of my car. Tiny piece of water. Now I'm talking. Talking small, small, small. And I'll show you where. Right there is where I caught the fish. And that's where the uh, road to road to Rainbow Rock finished. Let's see if I can catch another one out of here. Got it. See my shadows cast right across the water there. I'm not 
pretending for that to be the case. But I have to do it because I've got no other way of showing the river. Because the sun's come up right behind me. Okay, now this is where I ended the video. And this is where I'm going to start the newer half, newer section. Him. There you go, I didn't even cast then. I just let the spinner, or the plastic, sorry. I just let this plastic flow down the river in the most natural way possible. And out popped this lovely little rainbow trout. Eight him for Brecky. And come on. Ate it for Brecky and decided that it didn't taste very good at all because it's got a hook in it. Whoop. Oh, come here, mate. Lovely. Oh, come here. Lovely. Whoop. Lovely little rainbow trout again. Whoop. There you go. Now, I just have the biggest and best feeling that the fishing is just going to get better and better today. That was a snag then. Oh, some aerials. Well, that's a nice one. That's a nice trout, actually. This might be the best one I've caught. Actually, this is the best one I've caught out of here. Oh, that is just an amazing trout. Oh, yes. Oh, I've got to, I want to land this one and give it a, an underwater release. So. Whoa. Now that, and that wasn't even a cast. Now I knew something would be sitting in here. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on, come on. See these snags in here. Oh, this is deep under this log. That's probably why it's sitting there. Uh, come here, mate. Come here, get a fat little fat thing. What a stonker, what a f chubber. What a chubby girl. Now you've been stuffing your face, haven't you? Okay, time for underwater release. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, whoop. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna do underwater release for that one because it was a really nice fish, but that is why I come here. Wow to find an absolute remote area like this. Come and fish for some trout and just enjoy it. Rainbow Rock part two. <laughs> Rightio guys, I'm about midway through my travels up the creek now. Um, I'm gonna head back probably once my other GoPro battery's dead. Um, I probably would have a fair bit of footage by then, uh, a few fish. Um, caught and everything like that so uh, yeah I'm just gonna quick little quick pan around here just to get the idea of the scenery that would be marvelous there's another pool across the other side there I'm gonna probably start with again as well 
So um, the place is just amazing here. Full of fish, barely touched by people because I don't think many people know about it, which is good. I think the people that know about it would be looking after it because they don't want it to be, uh, uh, you know, overfished and everything like that. So this will be not disclosed this location, that's for sure. Anyways, gonna have a bite to eat and then uh, head back into it. I got excited. You will see the hook up on the uh, on the other camera. Uh, this is fat rainbow. Uh, just put it into the froth there. Uh, oh, Jesus, nearly off. <laughs> so much snack. I'm going to lose this fish in a second. He's going to wear himself out in a sec. I'm going to bring him up into here somewhere. Now this is a beautiful rainbow trout. Okay, now, we'll get down to him somehow, we're going to land it. Now, let's see. That's why we've got to be careful here, guys. We're being a little bit over eager. And we can uh, come into some serious strife. So just be careful. He's a fat, fat, fat rainbow trout. Come on. Look at that. A stonker. Another stonker. Oh, I'm having the best day ever. Now, once they go, oh, there you go. nicer bit of shaded water and I'll get snagged. I reckon I'll see a fish zoom out of here in a second. Is it going to zoom out? Walking up slowly. It's a little deeper here too. Oh, there's a little one. <laughs> tiny, tiny. That's the smallest fish I've seen all day. Let's just uh, try on the quieter side of this log. Quieter side of the log. A couple of casting in. I'm gonna try and zip it up there. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, got off. Now what? One came out at it then. 
fairly small. Same fish just came back from under the tree there. No, that's a snake. I'm gonna move up. It's steep here. That's good. There we go, one again, ah, oh, came off. He felt a little bit of weight, so he probably won't come back. It's another rainbow. I think it might have seen me though. Yeah, I'm on again. Come on, where are you? Feels like a kind of bit of weight on it. Oh, I think it's a brown. It's a brown. It's a decent brown. Wow. So not only are there really nice rainbows in here, but also terrific, terrific little browns. Now that is a nice fish. Beautiful brown trout. Fat head. Dark colour. Wow. Straight through the schnozzer. Sorry, mate. Beautiful. That was a gentle release. Awesome. Oh, I got it! Oh my god, this thing's jumping out of the water at my f***ing I can't believe it. Oh my god. That is insane. Righto guys, that's it for this video. Really uh, enjoyed making this one as I have all the others. Um, if you like the content, don't forget to smash the like button for me. Also, uh, if you would like to see more, just click the little subscribe button below here and uh, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload another one. Great news coming up, I will be doing a stream hop over Mount Hotham. So basically starting at Mitamita, which is, uh, you know, sort of, what is it, sort of north east of Omeo. Um, I'll be going to, obviously, camping at the Mitamita, Dartmouth, 
probably visit Angler's Rest and Blue Duck and places like that. Also visiting the Victoria River, uh, going over Mount Hotham, as I mentioned, um, and visiting the Ovens River and probably Lake Buffalo on the way back just for some shits and giggles. So um, stay tuned. We'll see you next time. A true save. Well, that's one way to get the uh, taken away from a good spot to film. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's that moving down there? Mm. Oh, it's a jumping jackhand. Clear out!